Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today I've got a very important topic for anyone who has tried to lose weight and hasn't succeeded because you either maybe couldn't lose the weight you wanted no matter what you tried and you'll find out today it's not your fault or you couldn't keep the weight off and you gained it back eventually or maybe even more weight or you did lose the weight but you did not end up looking the way you wanted to. And if you've experienced any of these situations, I fully understand your confusion, your frustration, maybe even anger about this topic because since the sixth grade, which is I guess about age 11, I've been on some kind of weight loss program, whether it's a different diet or exercise or supplements or just some kind of weight loss fat over the years. You name it and I've tried it all except for surgery. And thus, I know exactly what works and more importantly, what doesn't. So today I'm going to quickly focus on the best form of exercise for long-term and permanent fat loss. And I'm going to start with a recent email that I received. So it starts off, Dr. Sam, I really need your help. I swear I've tried so many things to lose weight and I'm just so frustrated. Either nothing seems to work, it seems to really work long-term, or the end result is that I do lose the weight but I end up looking sickly or just way older. My friend calls me skinny fat and I hate it. It's like I lose the weight in all the wrong places. I eat well and do at least an hour of cardio daily. What's the problem? Please help me. So this is typical because of all the misinformation online these days. So to get right to the point and not waste your time, cardio is one of the worst exercises to lose fat and basically look good. For example, take a look at the following images and tell me which you would rather look like. Now, the man on the left, obviously, you can see, is just kind of sickly and does a lot of cardio. Yet, the man on the right, who's got the muscle, he does lots of sprinting and weightlifting. Or the picture with the with the women, you know, same with the, uh, the one on the left, uses a lot more weights uh, and less cardio, and while the one on the right is just purely cardio and kind of hours of running. Basically, both the runners are based, you know, they look a lot older. And the, and the simple point of these pictures is to quickly illustrate that if you want to look better, younger, and firmer, and basically feel healthier, it's best to focus primarily on some form of resistance weight training instead of cardio. So basically, here's the deal. If you want the truth as far as calorie burning. Minute per minute, cardio indisputably does burn more calories than strength training, which could explain why compared to strength trainers, aerobic exercise loses more weight in less time, according to a recent Duke University study. However, your goal is not to lose quote-unquote weight. You want to lose fat, right? And the fact is that cardio doesn't do much for your muscles. In fact, in one Penn State study, dieters lost 21 pounds whether they performed cardio or strength training. But for the cardio group, nine of those pounds came from valuable muscle. That's what they lost, the muscle, while the ones who lifted weights lost almost pure fat, and thus they actually gained muscle in the process, which means you end up looking more fit, healthier, and younger. All right, You look better in clothing and even better naked and you do not look skinny fat. And this is because strength training is the number one way to build more muscle and lose fat. For every one pound of muscle you gain, you burn an extra 50 calories. And if you gain 10 pounds of muscle, basically, you burn an extra 500 calories all day long, every day, even while you're sleeping. Unfortunately, cardio only burns calories while you're doing the exercise. Once you stop or you miss a workout, you do not burn any more calories. And without getting on all the details, cardio also puts a lot more stress on your body and your adrenal glands, causing negative changes in your hormones by decreasing your testosterone and growth hormones, which is not what you want, while increasing your stress hormones such as cortisol. Again, you don't want this. This is the opposite of what you want. So in summary, if you want to lose fat and keep the fat off and look even better naked, focus more on strength training and lifting weights and less on cardio. Plus, if you exercise quickly with weights by keeping your rest periods to maybe only 30 or 45 seconds between your sets, basically work quicker, you'll get even 
better cardiovascular benefits for your heart and even speed up the fat loss. Well, that's it for today. You know, if your goal is to lose fat and lose weight and get rid of the belly fat, then make sure you also check out the short bonus video below where, where I reveal one of the biggest weight loss scams and why 93% of diet and exercise programs fail, plus how you can naturally turn on your fat burning genes. And if you like access to additional weight loss hacks or more information about this or similar topics, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'll be making more highly researched videos aimed at keeping your entire body and mind healthy so you can look and feel young. And if you think someone else might benefit from today's topic, please share the health with an email or social media, text, or any way you can help someone you care about. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.